In Throne and Liberty, you'll eventually come to the stage of really needing those precious accessory growth stones in order to level up and max out that jewellery. Now I've made in-depth guides on precious armour and growth stones, so I thought I'd do one here too. In this video I bring you the best farms you can indeed do to craft these precious accessory growth stones and to do so efficiently. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Now I'm away until the 5th of November so the videos from the 20th of October have all been scheduled. But I'm still doing those loose sync giveaways. In fact when I return I'll pick multiple winners and announce them just after the 5th of November. So to win 1000 plus Lucent, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave me a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my phone and Liberty videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. So good luck, everybody. So as you progress to a level 50, you earn a ton of accessory growth stones, you really do. The precious variants you'll start getting too, but eventually guys, you'll run out of options in getting these and you'll need, uh, you'll come to a point where I'm at right now where you're stuck and the only way you can really get these reliably is by crafting them and that's why I bring you guys today the best way to farm the materials in order to craft these precious accessory growth stones and do so in abundance efficiently that's what we want Okay, so if you head to the crafting vendors and head to the accessory crafting vendor, you'll see the requirements to craft these precious accessory growth stones. They require one precious magic powder, one precious emerald ore, and one precious polished crystal. So let's break down these items in the best place you can farm them and farm them fast. Uh, so first and foremost, the precious magic powder. So this is I'd probably say the main ingredient and well here there are quite a few ways you can get this and get it quite easily. The first way which I've mentioned previously in other videos is to dissolve those epic pieces or any gear piece to be honest. Anything you do not need if you dissolve them you'll get magic powder for them. Now epic pieces if it's armor it gives you 10 precious magic powder, if it's rare it gives you 10 rare magic powder and if it's uh, quality green it will give you 10 of the quality magic powder. Now if it's weapons this doubles up so epic pieces will give you 20 magic powder, uh, the precious magic powder that is. The rare weapons will give you 20 of the rare magic powder and the green weapons will give you 20 of the green which is quality magic powder. White weapons and white armor it's the same too, here it's just magic powder though 10 for the armor 20 for the weapons but i fully understand dissolving gear dissolving epics isn't something or an option for most players which is truly understandable so what other easy methods can you use to get that magic powder well for me the most notable and efficient way is crafting it now crafting in games like this you can always use that pyramid like system building your way up and in this game it's actually very easy to do crafting in throne of liberty is actually very very efficient so as you probably know, 5 magic powder crafts 1 quality magic powder, 5 quality magic powder crafts 1 rare magic powder, 5 rare magic powder crafts 1 precious magic powder. Now when you start at the bottom and do so with magic powder, you can get this like I said for dissolving that white gear. 1 white armor piece dissolved makes 10 magic powder, 1 white weapon piece dissolved makes 20 magic powder. So let's work with white weapons here, 1 white weapon dissolved gives you 20 magic powder. So working it out on this basis guys, you'll need 7 white weapons. 7 white weapons will give you 140 magic powder. With 140 magic powder you can create 28 quality magic powder. With 28 quality magic powder you can craft 5 rare magic powder. Which will then allow you to craft 1 precious magic powder. Now the best thing about this guys is it's actually an easy place to get weapons and armor too. That's if you've got plenty of solent you can abuse this. So if you head to the um, equipment merchant, he sells weapons, white weapons for like 9k gold each. 7 weapons will cost you around 62k gold. So 62k gold guys, from having no materials whatsoever besides solent, will give you and allow you to have one precious okay. magic powder. Now you also guys get white gear from killing low level mobs, which I will say I tried and tested this and I wasn't getting drops very often. Another way to get magic powder, rare magic powder, is from doing those resistance contracts. Although you don't get mass amounts, it's like between 4 and 8 per 1, you still get some. 
And remember guys, like I said, magic powder, no matter the rarity, uh, will always be crafted up to get that precious, which is why I believe the very, very best place to get mass amounts of gear to drop, which you can dissolve to get all kinds of magic powders to craft your way up to precious is those open world dungeons. Now to do these, you obviously need those abyssal contract tokens, which allow for enemies within these open world dungeons to drop you that gear. But in my opinion, it's by far the best way to get said gear, whether it's white, green, blue, or even purple. Anything you do not want, dissolve and get that magic powder from it. Okay, so with magic powder out of the way, you now need to work on those gems to craft those precious accessory growth stones. So the gems you need here, guys, are the precious emerald ore and the precious polished crystal. First up, the precious emerald ore. Now, this is an item you can acquire in a few different ways. If you select an item and check out where it's obtained from, you can see quite a few different possibilities. But in my opinion, your best bet in getting these gems and the ones you can craft out of these, because as you know, guys, you can always craft your way up and it's no different with these emerald ores as five quality emerald ores will give you a rare, five rares will give you a precious. It's as simple as that, people. Uh, and the best place to farm these is again those open world dungeons and using those abyssal contract tokens if you have them but if you plan on farming that magic powder too to get that gear you'll be getting gems at the same time now you can also buy these gems from the contract coin merchant but again these things are limited and prices are a little steep you can also get these from the level 50 co-op dungeons too so keep that in mind you can also get all and plenty of them from the resistance contract so if you're farming these for that magic powder make sure you're refreshing these contracts to land the right gem you want the right ore you also get multiple of these from the allied resistance forces contracts too these are brought from the sundry's merchant but you're limited on how many of these you can get per week it's 24 individual contracts per week and these contracts when you activate them you can refresh them to get this certain crystal or gem that you want but these contracts are always completed within the open world dungeons so yes plenty of ways there guys to get the ember ore okay so next up people we have the precious polished crystal now with these like the other precious gems open world dungeons are your best bet in getting these or the lesser versions so you can craft your way up five quality polished crystals you can craft a rare five rares you can craft that precious it's as simple as that now this is by far the best way of getting these in my opinion because they drop from so many enemies within these open world dungeons although the precious polished crystals are a little rarer the lesser variants drop very very often now another place you can get these and get these in an abundance is from the watcher's post contract merchant his resistance contracts can drop you up to 10 plus of these per contract contract so go here guys check out his contracts if there's none here that offer these crystals refresh them now for one of these contracts which offers you 10 plus of these you can craft two of the precious variant of them so that's quite a good turnaround it really is so these resistance contracts or the open world dungeons guys in my opinion are the best way you're going to get the precious polished crystals but there we have it guys, the best farms for each material required to craft a precious accessory growth stone. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.